Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Dean Saleh, the CEO of Dokada. Uh, I know I've been a little bit quiet uh, as of recent events uh, with the motorcycle transport van in Lagos, but I've been trying to process it and, and figure out how I exactly. So, um, today. I am going to talk about a little bit about this guy. Um, there is a huge reason why I am doing this video right now. Uh, the American people uh, probably, I'm not talking about Bangladeshi people, but I'm talking about American people, especially uh, the people, speci uh, especially living in New York. I'm sure they're quite um, aware of this face. This guy was brutally murdered by a 21 year old guy uh, who was used to work as his personal assistant, another. Uh, American guy. Uh, he was uh, Fahim Saleh. This guy, he is Fahim Saleh, who was murdered, brutally murdered. And he was. I don't want to go uh, for that description. It is quite brutal for me, for anybody. Uh, only a sick person can do that. I don't want to show his murder. The reason I want to show today this guy because I have a little bit of soft corner for this guy because I knew um, this guy as my own country person and I mean he belongs to Bangladesh. So also I know him in another way. His family, I know them. And the thing is, uh, I was watching today, uh, within last one week, I couldn't check the YouTube uh, about this guy's murderers, I mean, how far the justice went. Um, there, there are several reasons. Uh, the thing is, uh, they caught the murderer, who was the personal assistant, uh, I think uh, the guy's name was Tyrese uh, Hospital. Yeah, something like that, whatever his name was, that is not even important to me. Uh, that guy should be, according to me, or maybe half of the world, or maybe the people of my country, the, everybody they want, uh, they want Fahim Saleh's murderer to be sentenced to death. That's all. I saw a couple of days ago, I saw a YouTube channel news that that guy claimed uh, that he didn't murder. Uh, even after seeing all the CCTV recordings and so and so, that day I stopped watching all the news, whatever it was coming uh, about Fahim Saleh. But today I was just watching about, I just, I was just, uh, you know, surfing about uh, this guy's uh, news and I found so many people, I don't know where all these people came from, and they just downloaded. This is Fahim Saleh's original YouTube channel, which I think I remember, which had barely 1,000 or 2,000, maybe a little bit more uh, subscriber. But what happened? People started to download his videos from his channel, this one. This is the Fahim Saleh's original channel, and uh, this is the channel. And people started to upload in their own channel because this is a hot topic right now. I felt so bad. You know why? Because this guy got murdered for money. His personal assistant whom he fired, and that guy was a thief first. Later on, he murdered him, 
for money and these bloody people who are in YouTube they're actually uploading let me show you what I'm talking about um, I mean I'm sorry it's not moving they they're actually let me show you what I'm talking about actually um, see Let me show you another one. Uh, ah, see, see. These people are actually uploading his, this, this poor Fahim Saleh's video. For, uh, they're downloading from his channel and uploading in their channel to see how many views they have now. This was like out of blue channel and all of a sudden they're getting all the views and they're earning from a dead man's channel I swear I didn't want to make this video but I, I hate it I really really hate it because there is nobody to put up a strike on those channels who are actually stealing Fime Sully's content what well, doesn't matter like see this is this is a uh, he bought a Tesla uh, and surprised his dad. This was a personal, absolutely personal video. Who downloads somebody else's video and uploads in their own channel to earn money? For God's sake, you're earning over a dead body. Give him a little bit of rest. This guy got murdered for money and you guys are uploading his... I, I'm sorry, maybe you guys are thinking this is so naive, thinking in that way, but please, for God's sake, think for once. How does it sound? This guy got murdered for money. And these people are just uploading this poor guy's video from his channel. Please let his video stay in his own channel. He will never come back. We understand that you guys don't have any feelings or any thing to do with him, but it feels bad. It's inhumanity. He was killed badly by a 21-year-old guy from, I don't know, whatever this asshole came from. I'm sorry for the language. I really tried myself to control, not to say a bad word. But please show some respect. Don't download Fahim Saleh's video from his channel. Please keep it over there. You want to watch? Watch from his channel. If you, wanna, if you miss him, Watch him from his, his channel, but don't download and upload download his videos and upload in your your channel just to earn some money or just to get some views. That is total disrespect to the dead guy. For God's sake, don't do that. Thank you.